Well, Christmas is a little more than two weeks away. Believe Can you believe it? I mean, it, that's just gone right. so fast. Yeah. And many are, of course, welcoming a piece of nature into their home this month with a live Christmas tree. Yep. Alex Jackson spoke with the experts and has some ways to keep your tree from going up in smoke. It's supposed to be one of the most cheerful times of the year, spent with family and friends. Many in our region will celebrate the season by putting up a live or artificial Christmas tree. But experts say if proper precautions aren't taken, the holiday season could go up in flames. For those buying a real live tree, the work to ensure safety begins before you bring the tree inside. One of the first things that you want to do before you even bring the tree home is make sure that it's healthy and not too dry. So for example, this tree, it's not discolored, it looks green, it looks good. And what you're going to want to do is take an enclosed hand and make sure that when you put your fingers up against it that none of the bristles just fall right off because that would mean it's too dry. And also, if you can bend the branch a little bit and it doesn't snap, that means you have a good healthy tree and that's a good starting point. The Huntington Fire Department says once you get your live tree home or put up your artificial tree, the display spot is crucial. Placement, that's very easy. We uh, don't want to block any types of egress paths. That's exits, hallways, any type of walking path. We will put that tree in a corner to not be a trip hazard. And whether you're lighting your live tree or stringing bulbs on an artificial one, the advice remains the same. When it comes to decorations, we want to use our Christmas lights, uh, preferably LED bulbs. They burn e more efficient and a lot cooler. We don't want to overload our circuits, and we want to look for damaged cords, any type of fray or loose bulbs. If we do find damage, let's go ahead and throw that away and go buy some new ones. And experts say one of the biggest tips to making sure you don't have a fire with your live Christmas tree this year is making sure that it stays watered. Uh, when you bring the tree home, we want to cut about three inches off of the base, and as long as we keep that base covered, that should be that should be enough to use and finally whether live or artificial unplug the christmas tree before you leave the house or go to bed to reduce any risk of overheating alex jackson wsaz another tip making sure that no burning candles or open flames are anywhere near your tree